Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that solve n minus 1 whole upon n is equal to 1 upon n plus n minus 3 whole upon n minus 6. Let us start with the solution of the given question. Here we are given a rational equality that is n minus 1 whole upon n is equal to 1 upon n plus n minus 3 whole upon n minus 6. Now we have to solve it. Firstly we will find the least common denominator of the rational expressions in the given equality. Here least common denominator will be equal to n into n minus 6. Now we multiply both sides of the rational equality by this least common denominator and we get n into n minus 6 the whole into n minus 1 upon n the whole and this is equal to n into n minus 6 the whole into 1 upon n plus n minus 3 whole upon n minus 6 the whole. This implies that n minus 6 the whole into n minus 1 is equal to n into n minus 6 the whole into 1 upon n plus n into n minus 6 the whole into n minus 3 whole upon n minus 6 the whole which implies that n minus 6 the whole into n minus 1 the whole is equal to n minus 6 plus n into n minus 3 the whole which implies that now n into n minus 1 the whole minus 6 into n minus 1 the whole and this is equal to n minus 6 plus n into n is n square. Now plus n into minus 3 is minus 3n. This gives n into n is n square. n into minus 1 is minus n. Now minus 6 into n is minus 6n. Minus 6 into minus 1 is plus 6. And this is equal to n minus 6 plus n square minus 3n. This further implies that now n square minus n minus 6n is minus 7n plus 6 is equal to now here also n and minus 3n will be equal to minus 2n minus 6 plus n square now taking all the terms to the left hand side of the equation we get n square minus 7n plus 6 plus 2n plus 6 minus n square is equal to 0 which implies now n square cancels with n square minus 7n plus 2n is minus 5n plus 6 plus 6 is plus 12 and this is equal to 0 which means minus 5n is equal to minus 12 which implies n is equal to minus 12 upon minus 5 which further implies n is equal to 12 upon 5 so we get the value of n as 12 upon 5 now let us check our answer we put the value of n as 12 upon 5 in the original equation that is n minus 1 whole upon n is equal to 1 upon n plus n minus 3 whole upon n minus 6. This gives 12 upon 5 minus 1 whole upon 12 upon 5 is equal to 1 upon 12 upon 5 plus 
12 upon 5 minus 3 whole upon 12 upon 5 minus 6. This implies that now taking LCM in the numerator we get 12 minus 5 whole upon 5 whole upon 12 upon 5 and this is equal to now 1 upon 12 upon 5 can be written as 5 upon 12 plus now again taking LCM in the numerator we get 12 minus 15 whole upon 5 whole upon 12 minus 30 whole upon 5 this gives now 12 minus 5 is 7 upon 5 whole upon 12 upon 5 and this is equal to 5 upon 12 plus now 12 minus 15 is minus 3 upon 5 whole upon minus 18 upon 5 this implies that now 5 cancels with 5 and we get 7 upon 12 is equal to 5 upon 12 plus now again 5 cancels with 5 and we get minus 3 upon minus 18 that can be written as 3 upon 18 as here this negative sign cancels with this negative sign this further implies that 7 upon 12 is equal to 5 upon 12 plus 1 upon 6 which implies 7 upon 12 is equal to now again taking LCM here we get 12 in the denominator and in the numerator we will have 5 plus 2 which implies that 7 upon 12 is equal to 7 upon 12 which is true. So n is equal to 12 by 5 is the solution of the given rational equality. This is the required answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.